Hey there, journaling friends! Welcome back to another episode of Journal With Me. Today, I'm excited to share a creative journaling and memory-keeping process as I document a family lunch we had at Mango Tree Cafe in Ayala Mall's Manila Bay, Philippines. It was our first time trying this restaurant and let me tell you the experience was nothing short of amazing. So let's dive in. Now let's start journaling about that day's adventure. I'm using my Chic Sparrow Creme Brulee Traveler's Notebook. With a 026 dot grid insert by the Traveler's Company. As you can see here, there's quite a bit of bleed through from the stamping on the previous page, but no worries, we'll do something about that later on. When I journal, I typically start with a design layout first, and there's a reason for that. For me, the layout sets the tone and mood of the page, helping to capture the essence of the experience before I dive into the writing. In planning the design, I like to think about the vibe of the place I'm journaling about. For this spread, the restaurant had a cozy ambiance with beautiful botanical elements, so I want my journal page to be inspired by that. I'll be incorporating soft earthy tones and botanical motifs to reflect the calming nature-inspired interior of the Mango Tree Cafe. Before I start designing the page, I usually have a basic idea of the theme I want to follow. But I don't let it constrict me. I believe in allowing creativity to flow naturally during the journaling process. Sometimes, what I initially plan evolves as I go along. And that's perfectly fine. By staying open to new ideas as they come, I can capture the essence of the moment more authentically. This approach not only ties the visual elements of the journal to the actual experience, but also makes the entire process more immersive and enjoyable. Next, I'll be adding these tiny photos of the restaurant's interior, the food we ate, and our family photo. Since the washi tape I used earlier has a translucent material, the bleed through is still slightly visible. If this bothers you, one way to cover it up is by applying correction tape over the area before layering the washi tape. This is a handy tip for when you want to create a cleaner background. Yeah. 
As I'm decorating this page, it reminds me of the several trips we've taken to Thailand in the past. One of the things we always enjoy there is the food, especially the authentic flavors of their dishes. However, I have to admit I actually prefer Thai food in the restaurants here in the Philippines because the spices in Thailand tend to be much stronger. I like the flavors to be more subtle and balanced. I even remember that their McDonald's burgers have a distinct taste because of the extra spices and herbs they add. Such a unique experience. How about you? Have you ever had a food experience abroad that was quite different from what you've used to at home? You prefer the more authentic flavors or subtle version? Let me know in the comments below. After positioning our family photo to overlap with the leaf sticker, I realized that adding some contrast under the photo would make it stand out more. So I'll be layering this muted color paper beneath the photo. As a journaling tip, layering different papers or materials under the photos can add depth and make your elements pop on the page. For added accents, I'm using this washi tape with soft earthy colors. These tones complement the overall theme and help tie the page together. Then using this Hobonichi stencil, I'll draw leaves at the top of our page. Stencils are a fantastic tool in creative journaling because they help you add consistent shapes and patterns, making your layout look more polished even if you're not confident in freehand drawing. To add the name of the restaurant Mango Tree Cafe, I'll be using this alphabet stencil from the Traveler's Company. Stencils allow you to easily incorporate text and intricate designs into your journal without worrying about making mistakes. They are great for adding titles or headers, especially when you want a uniform look. Now let's proceed to the coloring part. I'll first color our leaves using the light green shade from a Tombow dual brush marker. For the title, I chose a yellow orange shade brush marker to make it pop. This creates a nice contrast among the soft earthy tones we've used so far. Next, I'm adding the date with this date sticker, but to give it more dimension, I'll layer it over this classic brown grid craft paper. This layering technique adds texture and a bit of visual interest to what might otherwise be a simple date label. For 
writing, I'll be using one of my favorite fountain pens, the Twisby Echo with a fine nib. This is a beautiful earthy brown ink with subtle golden undertones reminiscent of tea leaves dipped in warm water. Hence its name which translates to tea leaves. The ink has a vintage feel that pairs wonderfully with natural, autumn, or vintage themed journal spreads. I'll do a short write-up about our experience that day. Mentioning who I was with, what we ordered, the ambience of the place, and how the food tasted. So your journaling doesn't need to be long or overly detailed. Sometimes the photos and decorations on the page are enough to capture the experience, and a few well-chosen words can complement the visuals perfectly. And there you have it, the finished journal spread capturing our first time experience at Mango Tree Cafe. I'm so happy with how this page turned out. Every detail reminds me of that wonderful day. It's always a joy to document special moments like these, especially when they involve trying out something new with the family. Now I'd like to know, how do you decide on a theme or layout for your journal pages? Do you let the experience guide your design or do you plan it out ahead of time? I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this journaling session, don't forget to check out my playlist on memory keeping and traveler's notebooks for more inspiration and ideas. Thanks for watching and happy journaling!